here we have uh, these the first first thing is our wireless sensor network and this wireless sensor network consists of uh, many different sensors right and sensor node precisely if you want to say and these sensor nodes are connected with the microcontrollers and it will become the sensor node generally we have uh, apart from the sensor we have actuator also which is also connected with these uh, microcontrollers generally and uh, and the work of these sensor nodes are to generate the data so why we require to generate the data yesterday uh, in session we have uh, explored all those things that why it is required to actually generates the data and uh, these data will send to the uh, gateway node actually this gateway node is connected with the internet and uh, through the internet connection it can send the data to the cloud right and uh, we we got some idea about cloud also that what is a cloud is what what is the cloud and why it is uh, required in the iot system so cloud has actually two thing to do the first thing is to store the data and the second thing is to process the data this is the two major role of cloud in terms of iot infrastructure so in today's class uh, first we'll see a new microcontroller which is called node mcu second second thing that we'll see today is uh that the concept of gateway node and the third that we'll see today is to send the data to cloud so these three thing we'll see in today's hands on session will will go to one new microcontroller which is called node mcu then we'll see the significance or the this uh, functionality of gateway node and how we can make a gateway node and then we'll see that how we can send these uh, sensor data from these node mcu to the cloud okay so these three thing we'll see and try to understand in today's uh, lab class okay now let's go and uh, see what is this new microcontroller which is called node mcu so the name of this particular board actually the particular board is node mcu and we we say that it is a microcontroller but the thing is that the microcontroller is esp8266 like in the node mcu we have atmega in the same way we have here a 8266 esp8266 microcontroller so the microcontroller that we'll use here is esp8266 esp8266 okay microcontroller uh that will use here in this particular board so as you can see this particular part this particular part is your microcontroller esp8266 now this is another type of uh, uh microcontroller that will use the the functionality is the same yesterday we have seen another microcontroller which used to convert the high level language to machine understandable language which is a uh, low level language so that is also uh, will we have here next thing that uh, that is there is 
different pins so he, here it is of this particular board is called node mcu node mcu board the cost of this board is around 450 to 500 rupees so you can have this board and it it will have actually 30 pins there are 30 pins in this particular board and you can see that from this side to this side we have different pins now before going to the pin let's go uh, and see the architecture of this uh, particular board so this board has the micro usb this is the micro usb this micro usb is connected with uh, uh, your let's say the mobile uh, uh, charger uh, uh, cable that you can connect and from that uh, you can connect to your system so it is a micro usb port from this port we can give the power to the board as well as we can flush the uh, program into the board the two thing we can do then as you can see we have uh, the led this particular led will show that whether the uh, board is on or whether the board is off mode right now we have two push button one is the reset button let's say we want uh, to reset again or we want to run the whole program again so for that we have the reset button this is a push button then we have the flush button this particular flush button is used to uh, uh, used for uh, flushing the code flushing the code means uh, let's say uh, by any other means we want to flush the program so if we want to do that so that flush uh, push button will help us to do that but right now we'll not use it because uh, what we do is here is uh, we'll flush with the help of the uh, cable right now let's go to these pins and we'll try to understand these pins and after that we'll go to the practical uh, uh, implementation of this particular board now if you can see uh, we'll start from here the written pin which is which you can see here is it is written in the board that is d0 this is d0 this is d1 this is d2 this is d3 4 and then we have three voltage pin so it is of 3.3 voltage pin which is the output if you want the output uh, of 3.3 voltage and we want to give to any actuator or any sensor we'll use this particular voltage then we have the ground pin then again we have the d5 d6 d7 d8 pin and then we have rx and tx pin rx for the uh, reception of the uh, uh, serial communication and transmission for the serial communication then we have again the ground pin and then we have the voltage pin again okay so here in this particular side we have around uh, 15 pin and here also we have uh, 15 pin so it is a 30 pin uh, microcontrollers if you will see this d0 d0 in actual in uh, in the board manual uh, you can find uh, these gpio general purpose input output and there is a number written it is 16 so it is of 16th number gpio pin so that you can find in the manual but this you can find in the board so while programming if I want to use this particular pin, I can use 16. I can I can use 16 number pin. Yesterday we have seen like um, eight and nine and ten number pin. Here also we can use this 16 number pin, and it will say 16. It will be D zero pin. So either you can use 16 or you can use D zero in the program. Both will indicating to the same pin. To the same pin okay uh, okay uh, then we have all those pin then you can see that this is for transmission of uh, serial data reception of serial data this is also can be useful for 
transmission and the reception this is also can use for uh, transmission of the uh, with the serial communication we can do that okay gpio is for the general input output right so with the help of all these uh, gpio pin these are all digital pin all those d denotes for digital okay so for all those uh, general purpose input output pin we can either connect to the sensor or we can give power to the oh, sorry uh, we can give signal to the actuator so because sensor will generate the data and send through these pins and if we want to give signal to move to any actuator so for that also we'll use these pins so this pin we can use it for input as well as for output now come to this side this side we have the first uh, pin we have is v in v in is the voltage in so in yesterday also we have seen with the help of one pin we can give the voltage to the board so if you are not using the micro usb you don't want to use the micro usb so you have this facility in which you can connect uh, with the battery uh, with the 3.3 voltage uh, input 2 ampere input and you can give it to the v in pin so this v in pin is for that purpose then we have the ground pin this is the again the reset pin what is what this button will do the this pin will do the same thing and then it is for some purpose then we have the 3.3 voltage output again this is a ground and uh, from here to here this particular pin has two functionality one is the uh, serial uh, data uh, and we have uh, some if we want to do some service based interface if you want to do so for that we'll use a service based interface means uh, your whole five layers if you want to use the http protocol tcp protocol tcp ip protocol so for that purpose we can use it the first pin is mo si that is uh, master out slave in pin cs for uh, the chip select then we have uh, master in slave out then we have serial clock okay so all these are the pin then again we have two general purpose pin we have two pin which are reserved pin that we can activate for other purposes and then we have analog pin this but with the with the help of this analog pin we can connect an analog sensor so in this particular board we have only one analog pin and many digital pin so you can see whatever general purpose pin you have so we have general purpose pin this is 0 then 1 then 2 3 4 5 and uh, okay 4 5 then we have so how many general purpose pins are there so here here we have two 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 13 so at a time you can connect 13 sensor which is a digital sensor and one analog sensor that you can do connectivity with this particular board so at a time you can connect 14 sensors or actuator the combination of 14 sensor and actuators okay okay so let's go and uh, we'll see some of the uh, program related to this and slowly we'll move on to the concept of gateway okay so let's try to understand this with some practical implementation so yesterday i have uh, uh, told you that uh, you can install the uh, adreno id the adreno with the adreno id you can uh, write the program for node mc also okay so let us see 
uh, any any program we'll see any program <clears throat> let me tell you all the program you can find in my uh, uh, website i am putting into the website so for that uh, you just have to write my name Suresh Sharma, you can put triple IT. Suresh Sharma, triple IT, Bhuneshwar. Uh, the first link is the site. My uh, site is there. Once you'll go there, in that, you will find out the tab. Here we have more tab. In the more tab, you can uh, just see more uh, tabs available. And uh, here you can find a uh, course code and course material, right? So just click on to code and course material. Then you can uh, come to IOT and here we have the link. Click here for IOT codes. Just click here. It will be directed to the Google Drive and uh, Here uh, you can see uh, there are different codes are there related to what we have uh, seen. Okay, so that you can see. Uh, otherwise, I'll make a separate uh, uh, separate folder here with a GIFT gift, and over there I'll put all the things. So as in the Google Drive, we have this uh, uh, gift folder in that I have yesterday's program, what we have done yesterday. And I have uh, some of the program today, what we'll do that is also here so that we can use. <clears throat> 